Hey there. So in this video, I'm going to go over three side hustles that absolutely crush it. Now, I know there are a lot of side hustles out there, but it's kind of hard to pick a side hustle that works for you. And so what I've done is I've, you know, picked out three of the best side hustles that will work for you just in order to produce a side income and you know have something else going on whether you're working a full-time job or you're actually retired and you're looking for ways to supplement your income or even if you're even just still in school so even if you're still a student these are three of the best side hustles and personally i started out doing like things on the side alongside my job almost almost a decade ago that's kind of when I started exploring things because I, I had already been trying to start businesses you know start startups technology uh, internet startups and that kind of thing and I kind of stayed in the space for a long long time and kept tinkering around various projects and then I got more into marketing uh, so I started out in tech and then I got more into marketing as I understood that it's not enough to be able to build a great product. You also want to be able to market the product so that you can actually get customers. So that's been my journey. And in that time, uh, I've been able also to actually help other businesses. I worked with businesses, of course, uh, early on, I worked with a lot of tech founders as part of uh, you know the work that I was actually doing. Later on, I got to actually consult on the marketing side. So I've been able to to, to help in both aspects in technology, in marketing. And um, I've also been able to work with a lot of businesses selling different types of products. And what I've discovered is that you want a business or a side hustle that sells a product rather than a service, especially if you have a full-time job. Because if you have a full-time job, uh, picture this, you, you know, you knock off work say at 5 p.m. Uh, but then you get home and then now you start working on a side hustle. But if your side hustle is a service-based business, uh, then you might have to do another five hours of work to fulfill on the client work that uh, you've got or five, six, seven. In other words, you've got a second full-time job. <laughs> so you're working a nine to five and after your nine to five is done, you're again working a lot of hours and what happens is now you're gonna be up till two three in the morning and then you gotta get up at like six seven in the morning so you can rush into work uh, but you're tired and you're probably gonna be late to work because you just haven't slept enough right you're literally sleeping three four hours a night and uh, your boss is probably on the verge of firing you uh, that's what happens when you pick a side hustle that's just another job. And so that's not what you want. You don't want to do in a service-based side hustle. So that's the first principle uh, based on my experiences and what I've learned over the last decade. You don't want to spend um, your time doing a service-based side hustle. You don't want to be in a side hustle that's service best. What you want is instead a product-based side hustle. Now, a product means you make something once and then you sell it over and over and over again. So when you gain a new customer, you're not working hard to, uh, you know, essentially to do the service over and over again. You just ship a product or you deliver a product online or you deliver a product through software and you've got you know, you know, you've got a product that scales without you having to put in extra hours of work. So the first product based side hustle model that I like and that I recommend is e-commerce. With e-commerce, you put up a storefront through something like Shopify, Big Commerce, WooCommerce, even Amazon on Amazon or on eBay or Etsy or one of these storefronts. And then you drive traffic to the store, you have your product on sale, and when you have an order, the order gets processed, and you know every day you go out to ship out your, uh, your, your, your packages. 
But that might be just like a 30 minute thing. And then you get back home and you're working on your marketing. You're growing. So it's a business that really scales well because you can ship a whole bunch of uh, orders at the same time in one shipment. You're not going out and shipping things for eight hours a day, right? So that's the e-commerce side hustle. Really recommend it. It's a very good product-based side hustle. The second model that I highly recommend is called info products. With info products, you put together a course. Let's say you're really good at playing the guitar. So what you do is you put together like a five hour course that walks somebody from the basics of guitar to being able to play common songs like Bob Marley's No Woman No Cry or you know, um, Nickelback's um, um, this this afternoon or something like that you know just just you package up to where they can get to a good level right of playing and then you sell that course online at your website for let's say for 500 bucks every time somebody places an order now you give them access to the course and then they can log into the course or download it and watch it at their own um, schedule at their own pace and now you don't have to do extra work, you know, in order to deliver the product. The product is there and this is a side hustle that scales and can make you a lot of money without you having to put in 100 hour weeks. That's what you're trying to avoid, right? That 100 hour a week work week. The third and final product based side hustle model that I recommend is called SaaS, software as a service. So I started out in technology. Uh, web uh, startups and web products and things like that so that's kind of where i started my own early products were software based with the software as a service you're gonna create um, a software platform it might be a productivity app a business software to help businesses connect to their customers or to help them deliver a good customer uh, service experience something like that or whatever area of software you are tackling and then you make that product available when you get it when when somebody places an order for your software it gets processed automatically through your payment processor without you interacting with the uh, the order in any way and then the customer instantly gets their login credentials to log into the software and then they start uploading their data and processing um, their business through the software that you have available for them and they log in independent of you having to do anything. They're just logging into software that already exists. And so this means this is a product that scales without you having to lift a finger. And that's what makes it a great product based side hustle. And if you do it well, you can also scale to literally millions of users and you can make a lot of money. So those are the three product based side hustles that really crush it and that's what i recommend that you do like the other service based side hustles are gonna just weigh you down and um, burn you out if you're not careful now you, you could make them work some people make them work but especially if you have a full-time job or you are retired and you have uh, you know some family responsibilities or something else big going on that you need to take care of or you are in school and you have limited time the product based side hustles are pretty much going to be uh, probably what's best for you and what's going to work the best now if you want to grow your own product based side hustle i have some resources you can check out some of my free downloads links will be in the description you could also join my uh, product side hustle league program there's a free tier and a vip paid tier so you can check it out links for that again will be in the description 